Yeah, I've been watching the Indian pharmaceutical industry from last more than 20 years. And then there's a, there's a big change which has happened in the country. But there are still some challenges which remain on the forefront. And one of the biggest challenges is the productivity levels. Today, uh, if you see the overall uh, equipment effectiveness levels, they're very low. Not only in India, but across you know the world. Uh, but if you compare with the, the benchmark organizations, the pharma benchmark, they are around 80 percent, and still we are operating between 30 to 40 percent. Same is the case with the productivity levels; we are operating at 30 to 40 percent, whereas the best-in-class pharma companies would work at about 70 to 80 percent. One of the challenges is the productivity, and second thing I think in the future, uh, quality and compliance. Uh, these are the major areas because we want to do things right first time and then uh, we don't want any issues as far as the quality is concerned because we are uh, committed for the cause of the patient and it's very important for us that whatever we deliver to the patient is a stable supply and also the quality and from my perspective and my organization perspective we deliver our products back for the patients uh, in the global markets including Japan and other other markets of the world and for us the biggest challenge is also to see to get the cosmetic quality of a, of a tablet which is uh, required for markets like Japan. I think uh, from the uh, technology perspective and from the hardware point of view uh, uh, making sure there are no contaminations on the machine and making sure the tooling is of the right quality uh, there are no abrasions uh, and also whatever uh, surface finish which you get on the, on the tablet is good. So all depends upon the quality of the hardware on the machine and also it depends upon how good is your dwell times uh, uh, during manufacturing and from uh, charging of granules to the machine to the delivery of a tablet into a container this whole uh, process goes through a lot of abrasions. But the challenge lies is still delivering a quality which is uh, considered as perfect for a patient because they are very concerned that if there's no scratch or abrasion on the mm -hmm. tablet, there would be good quality in the core also. There are a few areas. I think uh, partnership, uh, hand holding, right from the development stage to the commercial operation, and uh, also from the maintenance point of view and also looking intelligently uh, in the machine what is happening during the manufacturing operation, checking it after every few months, maybe in once in six months to, to know about uh, the machine, how it has behaved, to check the wear and tear on the machine. So these are the uh, uh, things which we expect from our partners uh, and I'm very happy that you know we are working as a partner with FETE across the globe, Japan, US, Europe. China and now we are looking at the facility in India which we have commissioned uh, last year. Uh, it, it's an integrated complex consisting of research and development, API manufacturing and formulation manufacturing and we are looking at installing uh, a ferry machine here also uh, so that we, are becoming, we, we become more flexible for recipes uh, across the different sites.